the Akai Fire. But is it though? Yo. All right, I just on a whim bought this boy the Akai Fire. You big dummy. And basically what it is, is just a controller without the keys. And all of these are mini pads, mini NPC pads, I like to add. They're small, but they feel exactly like the pads on. Move some of these controllers over. Crap is falling everywhere. Broken glass everywhere. I feel like the pads on this. And let me see this I've had for maybe 10, 12, 13 years. It's the Akai MPK Mini. And the Akai Fire is roughly the same size. But has a lot more functionality. Has four banks at the top and has five modes down here. And the modes I mostly use are the step. When I'm just getting ideas out and I'll go back and replay it live with the metronome and the notes. And it's basically like a keyboard. So it's laid out like an octave on a controller, but it's a lot of them. And on top, one on the bottom, one on the top, one on the bottom, one on the top. It's like four. Basically it's a FL Studio Fruity Loops controller without the without the keyboard without a key bed so basically it's all pads basically 16 16 16 16 which is what 32 64 pads and i just want to show how i use it and i really only use the step and the note sometime i'll load some drums onto the fpc with the drum tab but with i just put a new version on here on, on my new laptop so I don't have the the patterns over with the sound so it just got the stock sounds and right now I got a pattern loaded up from a song I was making and it matches matches the screen like the transport down here. I love having that instead of the regular controller. And I like the note. So let's go to a pattern that I haven't used before. And I can record kick with the different octaves. So just the lower octave, probably zero. And then we're going up to one, two, three, four. I guess this would be the regular, the mid C right here so let's hit record on that we at 85 ppm i'm just gonna record let's do the snare first i guess it's a clap on here that's the red one so got it on record play oh still in song mode And that's another thing you use it for. You can use it to go out of song mode, go back to record. One. Take that off. And take the metronome off. I like to keep those on time, but my kit can be a little... So let's go with the uh... and yeah, let's listen to it. Take that record off. And I can't 
kick us off. Move that. So that's how you record the notes on it. And that's what I mostly use it for for now. Don't really use the step sequencer. Although you can see, even though I recorded the notes, it get it close to the standard steps. And let me see, let me load a FPC. And that's it, I don't use the perform. I'll use the step, the note, the drum occasionally and it's basically it and the transport so it's useful as a controller better than the, the keyboard controllers to me and I'll go back to the note the show I still on the FPC too so the corresponding note is still playing but I think I got a bass here too that off. Uh, it's a little bit over, so it's carrying over. So I'll take that down a little bit. And let's see, let's hit the hi-hats. bass off with the the mute and the solo is here and let's see if I can solo that yeah shift we'll put the solo on and just pressing it will mute it and the alt will give the alternative which is the bottom all right let's take that off So that's the steps, and you could just rub them across or play them, cut them off and on, hit them twice. Every other. And go back and forth with the first. Look like. First bar, then second bar, and then you can scroll it up to the top and show the notes from those, and then scroll down to the bottom and go back and forth. And that's basically at this point, that's what I'm using it for. So it's not a full review, it's just a show right now where I am, how I'm using it, and how it's working for me. And it, it is working so far if I do get on 
the Kai Fire as opposed to the NPC. So that's it. Thanks for watching. been thinking about buying uh, the MPC, the 61 keys, been really considering it. I got a bunch of these controllers and MPCs. I switched to a standalone person now, so I very rarely make beats in the, the FL Studio, even though I got this. So I'm thinking about getting that, like some other people thought some people actually has it. All right, quick hot take on how do we feel about beat tags? Like I consider hip hop as art. So I don't like hearing a producer name all on the front of the album. I know it's needed now in the digital age. Like there's there's no really CD cases or line of notes to read anymore. You gotta go search online. So I understand the need for them, but it's art to me. Like I would never like put my name on the front uh, of a beat. Like even not, even though I know it'll help me in the future, I just, I, I can't see it. I want to hear that beat and I want to hear, you know, the, the artist thoughts coming in. And even a lot of my favorite producers, even back in the day, you know, I'm stuck in that boom bap era, but a lot of them, like I was listening to the um, Public Enemy Shut Them Down remix that Pete Rock did, still bangs to this day. But basically on the front of it, he said another Pete Rock production. Come on, come on. Rock Even back in the day, they used the, the, the beat tags. It ain't to the extreme it is now, but just I, I want to see what, what y'all feel, how y'all feel about that. Like it, it helps, but who want to hear, you know, producer screaming all over the track. And some people that did it well was, I like the Just Blaze. Yeah, I, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that?